Hey guys, you are watching Bob's Decline. I've been a lineman on the East Coast in Canada for 16, almost 17 years now. What we're gonna do today, we're gonna go around my truck and I'm gonna tell you the name of certain tools and equipment we use. There was a post on Facebook probably six months ago asking about Nylet. The post just said, hey, what do you guys call this thing? I got like 600 comments in like two or three days. I found it really interesting to see some of the names people from all around the world called this real simple piece of hardware. What we're gonna do, we're gonna go over some parts, and I challenge Lyman Universe, Jeremy Johnson, if you wanna to reply to this video, it'd be cool to see what the, uh, what the guys around there call some of their tools. If we're up here in Canada, he's way down here in the States, it'd be real interesting to see what some of this stuff's called in that part of the world. So let's check it out. Like I said, my telescopic stick, sometimes we call it just the extension stick, or the extendable. I see online, the majority of the people call it an extendo stick, or a pogo stick. I never heard the pogo stick one. For doing hotline work, we called an eel. This one's a little bit dirty. I use it for secondary work only. This was off one of our rubber glove trucks. It would be spotless. We call it a beaver tail. Stick it in the triplex, give her a twist, spreads the triplex, one in each groove. Wouldn't believe what they call this thing. It's a clothes pin. When pinning up our blankets, you can use them with a shotgun. Grab her here, give her a squeeze shot. Boom, you got her, let go on the pole. This guy here is a grab all, because it grabs everything. But we also call it a shotgun. We have our thumper stick. Grab onto the underground elbows, give her a thump, boom, elbow comes off. Next, we get a bunch of real basic hardware. I've always just called an eyelet. Apparently, it's got like 30 different names. This here, we call it a shoe, the jumper bolt and a high lug. Next, we got a guy hook, we got a stirrup, leg bolt, and a J hook. Self-explanatory. The crimpets for the most part, anything up to four aught. Our rope, which you will see on every single lineman's belt ever, we just call it a hand line. This here, we call it a nut runner. We just call it a preform grip. Also a preform or a twisty. Wedge clamp. I like these fellas. Next up, we got our sleeves. This one is a compression sleeve. We call it a quick sleeve or an automatic sleeve. Wire slides in, it's like a Chinese finger trap. Wire can't come out. These ones here for guy steel, we call them a bullet. We call it an epoxylator. Cutout door, goes in the cutout, closes. Boom, power's back on. We have a quick connector. Some of the guys call it a SEMO. Bites into the wire, you can hook them up hot, super easy. They don't corrode nearly as fast as a crimpet. And of course we have our spreader block. Oh, and the nut on the end, an eye nut. For secondary underground, torpedo connector. We call them a dog bone. That dog bone is actually rated to hold the proper amount of tension of the line when you're in a pinch. This is pretty well a basic residential meter. A base adapter. The come alongs we use, we just call them pullers. Mule grip. We got the old school MD6. That's pretty much it for today, guys. For all you people watching this video, I'd love to hear some of the nicknames you guys have for these tools all around the world. Write them in the comments down below, and I will be sure to read up on those. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching.